Hi, we're going to solve this problem that we went just went through in the uh, 1D finite element theory. Just this little bar with two different cross sections results in uh, three no three elements. Um, here's the properties for that big section uh, here, element three. Uh, those uh, we're going to do a round cross section. Uh, a over L with thousand was uh, ten for the area, ten for the length, and thousand for E. The small section, these two elements, one and two, A over L was a hundred, so half inch uh, diameter or half inch area, uh, five inches long. Uh, e is a thousand again, and these are the uh, uh, these are the diameters of a round bar for that. So we'll switch over to. Um, uh, the project schematic, uh, bring that up. Um, let's open up Design Modeler. Okay, say units, uh, inches. So we're going to create a sketch on the XY plane. I think we'll just create some points. So going to sketching. Uh, Slide that down a bit. Create some construction points. Just plop a couple on there. Uh, and one, two, three, four. Those are really the going to end up being the node points. Get some dimensions on there. Horizontal there to control select there to there. Element two, there to there, there to go and put some real values there. Uh, five for that, five for that, and ten for that. That agrees with that uh, sketch we just looked at or that uh, drawing. Uh, now we'll go ahead back to modeling and then we're going to uh, lines from points. We're going to create some lines from points. Mm -hmm. Okay, so we're going to select um, that, that point, that point, uh, apply, uh, generate, and you can see a body was created, uh, line body one. Okay, we're going to do the same thing, lines from points, we're going to go there to there, and make sure that up here, points are selected uh, here. No, we're going to add that and uh, we want to make sure that we add frozen so it doesn't add, make that line one. It's individual line. So we'll generate that. There's line two, line one, do one more line. Um, there to there. Looks good. Again, add frozen. It's an individual line. Generate that. We've got our our three bodies there. Now we're going to have to create the cross sections and that's uh, we could do a circular and just enter in the rate or the diameter or the radius and uh, but I think I'm just going to use this user integrated. Slide that up a little bit and just key in what the cross sectional properties are. So that small section was 0.5 and uh, let's see for numbers to come out right that's going to have to be a zero there and just going to put two for j so it's ixx plus iyy um, and then we'll do a rename here rename this small uh, section okay we'll create another one for the big section user defined um, I'll call that big section and that one had an area of 10. Uh, we're really not doing anything. We're not looking at bending. So um, really those don't matter, although it must be zero or they're going to be an error there. So slide that down. There's our, so there's our three bodies. Uh, so now we have to apply the cross-sectional, what cross-sections to each line. Uh, so the first one was the small section, so we get the cross section with the drop down. There it is, small section. The second one, we also, that was the small section, and there we used the big section. Okay, so.
so it looks good although we're getting an area show ears what do we have uh, default or unknown alignment okay um, so uh, it puts a uh, an axis where uh, it shows this green little arrow is the positive y axis so it uh, even though that doesn't really matter in the round section it's asking for some information so we'll go in there and uh, We'll select the unaligned, unaligned line edges. Um, well, I'm going to have to create something. So we'll go and create something on, we'll create a line on the YZ plane so we have a direction to select. So we'll go over here to YZ, uh, create a sketch, um, sketching line. I'll just put a line right there so we can uh, select that. Um, Go back to modeling and we'll go back to this first line right here. Um, uh, right click, select on the line, so we'll grab that right there. Let's try that again. Select on the line, okay. Select that right there. It shows, yep, uh, that direction, positive that direction looks good. If you needed to rotate it or reverse it, uh, here's where you do that. Um, select on align, click on here, apply, yep, looks good. Same thing here, right click, select on align, grab that, yep, looks good. Okay, so we're good there. Matter of fact, let's just rename these. Let's say element one, element one. everything is set. Three elements. One, two, three. Looks good. So we'll go back over to, um, no, we're going to have to go to engineering data and create a new uh, material with that modulus, modulus of elasticity of 1000. So we're just going to call that soft uh, stuff. Um, slide down uh, we need to give it some isotropic elasticity uh, value enter that in psi so we said that was a thousand poison ratio we'll just put 0.3 that looks good uh, I'll go back to um, now we're ready to go over to um, mechanical Okay, we're in mechanical. Now let's see if we can change those properties here. Is that going to show up? Yep, there it is, soft stuff. So we'll change it. The default was structural steel. Create that soft stuff for all three elements. Uh, let's make sure that those each element has the right properties too. So element one, soft stuff. Let's look at properties. Uh, 0.5 for element one, that was a small section. 0.5 for uh, next one, and 10. So it looks good. Okay. So here like we're gonna, um, well, let's, we're gonna do a mesh first. And I think we'll just key in a big number here for the element size, 20. So it only creates one element per line. Mesh that. Let's double check and see what we've got down here. Statistics. Uh, three elements. One, two, three, and nine nodes. Uh, I messed up. Let's go back in Design Modeler. And we're not sharing the, the common node between here because I didn't create a, um, uh, a body, a uh, new part. So we'll select those three and create um, a concept create where we at tools there we go form new part okay so all three of these need to be in one part 
for it to share the, uh, the common node. So let's uh, go back then into mechanical and we'll do uh, refresh all data. Okay, so we're going to do uh, generate the mesh again. So let's go back down and see if that fixed it. Yep, statistics, seven nodes and three elements. So uh, two of the nodes are shared. So we got our shared nodes there. Um, uh, if, we if we did create the cross sections with that round bar, they would show up here. Um, but sometimes it's just a whole lot faster just to type in the, the um, cross sectional sizes that you're using. So let's go ahead and uh, uh, create the fixed reports, uh, supports on the end. We're going to make sure we've got our selection to points. Grab that one, apply. Okay, looks good. And insert another fixed support down over on this end. Right there, yep, apply. There's fixed support two. Then we're going to go ahead and key in our load uh, force on this one right here. Uh, apply that. And we'll do a components that's, uh, let's see, that's in the x direction. Uh, that was 10. Uh, I must have keyed in the wrong one, uh, y. Yeah, that needs to go here. And 10 with x the y direction is zero that looks a little better okay i think we're ready to solve first i think we'll go ahead and create the information that we want to look at so really what we're looking at is for displacements and what we want to look at is the displacement here at the uh, here and we want to know the displacement here we knew these were zero um so <clears throat> A deformation, a directional deformation we want. And we want it, in order to look at just this data, the most simplest thing is just to grab that element. The default is all bodies. But uh, let's go ahead, we're going to click on a line. We're going to grab that one. That looks good. And uh, this one, uh, then we're going to do the same thing for that other element. Insert uh, directional displacement. Uh, all bodies, I'm clicking on, on that one, and it defaults to X, that's what we're going to look for. We want to know what the displacement is on the X, and we want to know what the reaction forces are. So that's, down, that's in probe force reaction. Um, and here it is, they're at the reactions fixed report, fixed support, that's the left side. Looks good. And uh, same thing, a probe, force reaction, and this one we're going to go on the right side reaction. So it looks good. We'll go ahead and hit solve. Alright, so first we'll look at um, directional deformation. Okay, so this is highlighting the element, element one, the, the uh, element on the left with the max displacement of 0 0.05238 um, it agrees with uh, uh, exactly the same as the number in the calculation uh, the element on the right uh, look at this node 0 0.047619 um, that number that's exactly the same as in the calculation we look at the reaction force on the left side that was uh, 5.2381 pounds, uh, same as what's calculated. The reaction on the other side was uh, 4.7619. And so those, um, those agree exactly to the uh, uh, calculations. If you want a copy of the zip file or the, um, uh, the paper on the calculation, you can email us at uh, training at training at feaprofessor.com. Thanks for watching.